We're crowning a new world champion in Austin today, a new F1 in schools world champion. 38 different teams have come from around the world, from 33 different countries, to see whose car is fastest. Racing to talk to Ben, the technical director, to find out how these cars are made. Um, initially, all cars start off as a, uh, a bolster block, it's just a uh, rectangular piece. Um, we then do NC coding, which is we uh, input codes into a machine, and uh, the uh, robotics inside of the machine uh, drill the car out, and we um, end up with this sort of design here. <laughs> And away we go. First time this weekend. Do our number in our range. I haven't actually asked you. Well, I oh, of the day, the 22 six. And it is. Once again, it was the fastest time of this near side. So 1.245. Go through all this and put your reaction time. And the reaction time once again was what are you looking for? Well, no, it's not all about the racing, it's about everything. It's about how the team's structured, how it was put together, how they find the money to do it, um, their sort of development plan. It's, it's really everything that, to be honest, a Formula One team has to do in carbon fibre. Fantastic. Just the detail of this, you know, this would make Red Bull's engineering, you know, look agricultural, to be honest. When you look at this sort of thing. These kids are making these back at their schools, at their colleges. Yeah, they've machined out these blocks here, moulding blocks to, make, to mould the carbon fibre. They press it together, they heat it all up, so basically they come out with this product and glue all the parts together exactly like a Formula One team does. <laughs> And it's a quicker reaction time this time for team. It is only a look at me, the team box. It's an amazing, it's no flash. It's a quick reaction time for team balls who are the Uh, it just feels amazing. Um, didn't expect to come so far. Feels good to win the knockout championship. 